<clears throat> Hi guys, how are you? So today I'm not gonna really be doing any actual card readings. I will be doing one at the end, um, just for the general population. Hi John, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, my guides actually asked me to come on here yesterday, uh, today, and share a message. So again, that's what I'm going to be doing today with a general reading at the end for everyone. So hopefully, um, whoever, I'm good, Vicki, how are you? Whoever needs to hear this message is going to hear it. I believe that. I believe that in my heart, that whoever needs this message is going to hear it. Um, and we'll go from there. So... All right, <laughs> channeled messages, guys. They like I can do it at any given time in card readings, but when they ask me to do it on this platform to just sit here and talk, I don't know why I get so uncomfortable. I'm sweating from the energy that I'm feeling. Um, God is here, and Mother Gaia, uh, the Shakti, Shakina essence, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and Raphael and Uriel. Um, Archangel Samuel, all the Archangels really um, are all here. My guides, my specific um, like ancestral guides are here as well. Um, and so yesterday I, I had work in the morning and then in the afternoon, me and my daughter did a very impromptu um, trip, day trip to a beautiful place up in the coal regions up north from um, from where we live and so we went for a hike there because we've done it many times just her and i and so on the way up i knew that some magical things were going to happen we we hiked through the woods to the location with this very large waterfall that we usually always go to but we were guided to go above it to an upper level and when we got there it was breathtaking there was this oasis that was um it was almost like it was there for us in that moment. It was so magical and everything was glistening. Um, and, and we weren't really prepared to swim, but we jumped in in our clothes and we sat under the waterfall and we sat with the water and with nature and some very, very powerful, powerful healings um, and intention setting was done um, on my part and my daughters individually um, for my journey. And so the, as we were there taking in all of this beauty, um, my guides wanted us to take a different path, uh, a path up over the hill. And both of us were kind of guided to do this. And so I found it bizarre or I don't know, odd, I guess that they wanted me to talk about it. But when we got in the car, um, they told me why. Uh, so that being said, we spent this beautiful time just unwinding everything, releasing everything, magically being refilled. It was blissful. And also, I don't always share my personal journey um, pictures on this platform. And I've been asked to share some of that stuff today to go with this message. So I will be uploading those photos after this message, as well as a song that they want me to upload with those photos. This message is about the journey, right? This message is about the journey and the ascension process. And in the ascension process, we're going up a hill. And sometimes we get scared. And sometimes we feel like we've lost our way. Um, I grew up in northern New Jersey by the New York state border, um, like five minutes from the New York state border. So I grew up in the mountains and by the lakes and in the woods. I have been hiking my entire life. I know the cardinal rules of hiking. Um, however, yesterday I stepped out and did what they asked me to do, and I followed what they guided me to do. And it put us on a path that we got lost. We got lost in the woods. Um, we came across some very scary and sketchy situations. Um, when we started the hike from our beautiful oasis, we went up this hill. We basically like faced almost the side of this mountain um, and it's coal region. So it was very slippery. There was nothing really to grab onto and it was steep. Um, we had to grab onto the trees that were there to be able to pull ourselves up. So it was a different experience. It was intense. Um, I walked through spider webs with these big black spiders that fell on my head with white dots all over them. And I was freaking out because I was like, oh my God. But through all of this, I was able to keep my peace as scary as it seemed. And through all of this unknown, right, following what they were asking me to do, 
I didn't know the path split off in multiple ways and I had an idea of the way we needed to go, but I was not familiar with this trail or this path. Um, and again, it was just me and my daughter in the middle of an area that has no cell phone service. So this is all part of that ascension journey, guys. We don't have service sometimes, right? We're alone. We're all alone. And we don't know where we're going sometimes. We're blindly walking towards where we believe we are being asked to go. Um, on this process, we came across some pretty, pretty scary things, some pretty sketchy things. We came across... Um, we eventually got up all the way to the top of the mountain itself. And then we found this big fence with a barbed wire and everything on it that was, um, I believe it was a waste area on the other side, like way over. And so we kind of walked along this path that was right there. And then we got up to this like abandoned, um, very sketchy truck yard where all the big rig the backs of the big rigs were there and they were wide open and of course me I'm like what's this I didn't want to walk past it because it was we're in the middle of nowhere and I'm like oh my god this is a horror movie <laughs> and so we kept going and I'm looking and I'm like this isn't the way this isn't the way and we turned and literally this light just shined on one path and we knew we needed to go on that path and we had to fight the fears inside of us the whole time because fear is what? Fear is only an illusion. Um, I fell. I fell and like destroyed my one knee because of the way I fell on the gravel aspect of it. Um, so on the journey, we could fall down and get hurt is what they're saying. But we have to pick ourselves up. It's what we do from that moment, guys. This ascension process, it can be difficult, okay? You're going to feel lost. You're going to feel alone. Just keep looking for the light. Take a moment. Look around. Observe your surroundings and look for the light. Each time we came across a path um, that split off again, which happened, I can't even tell you how many times it happened. I have never experienced anything that, like this in in my 40 years, <laughs> um, but I'm grateful for the experience. We also came across uh, what looked like someone who may have been homeless as home. And then I got a little bit scared and more into fear mode. And we were on the massive decline then, right? And there was big rocks that we were trying to uh, maneuver around and some of it was loose rocks. So we had to be very careful with our footing. So it wasn't something that we could speed walk through, right? We had to take our time. And we were alone. We were the only ones there in the middle of the woods. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh, my God, I smell suntan lotion, fresh suntan lotion. So I knew somebody was there, which put fear in me. And I, my daughter was a little bit ahead of me, and I kept my composure. And I said, please don't leave me right now. Please stay here right with me. Don't get too far ahead of me. Let's, you know, we're okay. We're going to do this. And um, we walked down the hill and we kept our composure and we kept everything together. And as soon as we got to the bottom of that hill, right over the next small hill was our car. And so it, it took us probably on, I'm going to say a two and a half mile hike um, for something that was probably about a half a mile in. And so the process that they wanted me to talk about, because we were so grateful that we found the car and we were so grateful that we got out of the woods and we were so grateful that we were able to stand in faith and follow the signs that showed up in front of us and not slip into fear because we're instant manifestors, right? So the message that they really wanted me to share is that that's life sometimes, right? Sometimes we're faced with choices, especially on our ascension process. And we don't always know which way to go, but we're being guided to go in a way that we've never been before. And so holding the blind faith that you're going to make it through and staying connected, staying grounded, staying connected, staying calm through the process, no matter what's going on around you, no matter if you feel like you're lost, no matter if you feel like someone else is right there and that doesn't feel very good to you, allowing yourself to stay calm through this process, allowing yourself to stay centered and focused in your essence is what's going to help you get through to get up and over the mountain and come down to the oasis that's waiting for you, right? to the safety zone that's right there. Um, the ascension process can be jarring for some people and it can also bring a lot of, um, I don't wanna call them hurdles, but they're saying right now obstacles. It can bring a lot of things to show the stamina, 
the character that's within you, how much you've grown, how you've handled things. No, you might not have always made great decisions and through this process being open to what you're receiving for yourself. Being open to the fact that maybe we don't always make the right decisions. Being open to the fact that maybe our decisions have taken us into scary places. Being open to the fact that we have now brought ourselves out of that, right? Um, allowing your truth to guide the way, allowing your connection to your truer, your truest self, your higher self, your source to shine the light for you in all aspects, in all ways, no matter where you find yourself, you're never alone. They're always with you. Your guides are always with you. And so it was super important that they wanted me to come on right now because I think there's a lot of us that are in an isolation phase because that's what this time frame is, right? We've been in isolation for a while. And there's some that um, struggle to be out in public because of the amount of isolation that we've had. So the, the spirit team that I have already mentioned, they want you to know that you're loved and you're not alone and keep looking for the signs, keep looking for the sparkly light. Sometimes it's the tiniest little glittery light that's there. Sometimes it's just a light inside of you that's pointing a certain way. Sometimes you're just looking out of the corner of your eye and you see the glow and you have to trust that. They're asking you to trust that. It's going to help you get through and get over the any obstacles that may be falsely standing in your way because it's not, it, it's just, it's an illusion that you're trapped. It's an illusion that you're not safe. It's an illusion that, um, that you're not going to make it through it because you are but you have to take the path that you're being asked to take. There's no way around certain things. There's lessons that have to get learned. And if we're not learning those lessons, we're gonna have to do it again, right? Until we get it. So pay attention, pay attention to the lessons. Trust yourself, okay? Trust yourself and the process and your guides because you're safe and you can get through this to the other side and it's an energetic thing, okay? It's not that the world is going to end. It's not that um, we're all gonna go somewhere else to this like crazy utopia that is just gonna lift us up. It's not like that because that's what the etheric world is, right? The etheric world is a beautiful utopia that we all get to be in all the time. That's where all of our spirits are, our guides allowing yourself to step into your higher heart space and connect it to your throat chakra open yourself up open your third eye um, allowing yourself to connect stronger deeper and truer to your higher self through your crown chakra through your soul star really grounding in to your root chakra through your earth star allowing everything to clear out purge yourself do what's being asked You'll make your process so much easier if you just listen. Listen and take the steps that you're being asked to take. You following your true north is gonna carry you right through. You're just gonna flow, you're just gonna be there. It might take you a little while and it might take you on some turns where you're like, I don't know, this is kind of sketchy, this is kind of crazy. Just keep going. Keep believing. And, uh, and I'm going to say this, okay? If you find yourself in physical danger, please be careful. Um, but trust yourself and your process and know that you're safe. Call your angels if you feel unsafe. Stand in your sacral chakra and your solar plexus and balance your energies and know that you're safe and you're following your guidance. This is the biggest message they wanted me to send. And I was shown um, this beautiful deck today for the general message. Um, and this is the, what is this one again? Mystical Shaman Oracle card. Um, for some reason, I just had a total blank. So I hope that that message reaches all who it needed to reach today. If you find this message useful and that you feel that others may be able to utilize this message as well, please share this out. I'm also going to upload it on my YouTube page. Please follow me on YouTube if you'd like. Um, um, all the messages I share here are also, well, not all, but most um, messages themselves are there. The, some of the um, card readings are there, not all. Um, but the, the YouTube page is called Let It Begin With You, Heaven Sent Messages. Um, so 
check it out if you're interested. Like and subscribe. Start sharing out the messages on any platform and any caliber that you feel resonates to your journey. Um, the only way to get through this is to help each other, right? To stand together united because that's what uh, it's all about. Um, it's about being together. It's about blending all of our essences. It's about um, shining the light for each other to see. And that's what I stepped on and said I would do. So that's why I'm here uh, sharing my journey with you for your journey. Your journey is it's here. Your journey is unfolding. Embrace the journey. Check Check the signs and the synchronicities that are all around you. They are guiding the way every single day, okay? Allow the fire within you to burn bright so that you can stand in your own divine essence, in your own divine power, allowing the energies from the ancestors to flow to you, through you, and as you. Allowing yourself to have the duality within you, to be pure, to stand in the center of your truth, to know that you are on the right path. Hummingbird medicine is beautiful. Hummingbird medicine brings messages of joy and abundance. There is joy and abundance on the other side of any trial and tribulation that you may be facing through this ascension process. That is our birthright. That is your birthright. The joy and the abundance. Allowing yourself to be there. But first, you must let go of all of the things that no longer serve you. Just like the snake skin has to be shed, right? The under pink belly needs to be there. The vulnerableness. The vulnerable asset. Um, aspect of when a snake sheds that pink belly it's raw it makes you feel scared and it makes you feel unknown but you 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 they're saying you must stand in your essence and know that you're protected through this process and allow yourself to shine through this process embracing the vulnerability within you because that's what's going to help you to set yourself free that's where your authenticity is the vulnerabilities because there's magic. There's magic all around you. There's magic that runs to you, through you, and as you, and wants to come flowing to you, through you, and as you. And once you release all of the things that no longer serve you, you will be ready and able and willing to receive all of it. This is the holy mountain, my friends. You cannot make this up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am never never going to get tired of how that just always flows together. <laughs> this is the holy mountain, my friends. You're on the right path. Just keep trusting. This is your holy mountain. This is where you get to go and be one with your spirit, with your source, your authentic self, and bring that vulnerable self into this physical reality so that we can shine our lights for each other and for the others that are still needing to do that. That's what this journey is about, my friends. Releasing the old paradigm, releasing the old outworn patriarchy, bringing forth true love, true connections, true essences, true authenticity, my friends. I hope this message reached you with love and peace today and the rest of your weekend, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of this day. Much love and many blessings to all of you. Have a great day.